Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you how to find the original sounds inside of Minecraft. Let's just switch over to the desktop and I'll show you how it's done. Here we go. Now the first thing you need is a window open like this, just a standard file window. I just have them open into a PAX folder that I made here, nothing special about that. And then in the address bar up here, just type in percent app data percent, like that, hit the enter key. And it takes you into this folder here, the roaming folder, and then go inside of Minecraft right here, dot Minecraft, and then inside of assets right down here, and inside of indexes right there. Okay, now you're also gonna to need to have a place to copy the sound file over into, and I have my same folder over here opened up. That's my PAX folder again. I just made this on my C drive, nothing special about that folder, just a place to put the sound file. Okay, in here, I have this opening up in Notepad++, which is a great program to use for this kind of work, and it's free. I'll put a link for that in the description if you want to use that. In here, find the JSON file for your version of Minecraft. Double click on that, opens this up right here. Now in here, this shows you where all of the different sounds are, plus a lot of other stuff. Here's all the language files, you get into the sounds files down here. It's a big, huge mess, so we need to do a search. And in this video, I'll be searching for Explode, mostly because somebody asked for that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Go up to search and come down here to find, and then just type explode right here or whatever sound it is you're looking for into the find what field, click on next. And you can see it right down here. It's taking us down to that section. I can go ahead and close that. So there's that section way down towards the bottom, as you can see. Now it's again, kind of hard to understand this. So what you want to do is to find the sound. This is the explode one sound right there. There are four of the explode one, explode two, explode three, and explode four. So go to our top one right here and back up where you see random sounds, Minecraft, and then the quotation mark. Just put your cursor right here, hit the enter key, and that separates that onto a new line. I just hit it twice right there. Gives me a space above that. And then come down here to the last one, in this case, that's Minecraft Sounds Random Explode 4.org. And go clear over here to the right hand side past where it says size. And then put your cursor right here and then hit the enter key a couple of times there as well. It just kind of gets those out where you can actually see them. You could do it up here if you wanted to, but it's just easier to do it this way. So, what you want is the name and then it says hash. And then it has this big long code thing right here. Okay, so we have our hash codes. I'll put this right here. Now go back to the window here, to the indexes, go back to the assets folder, come down into objects right here, and you get this big long list of a whole bunch of files with just two numbers or letters at the beginning of it. So I'll put this right up here, and then let's find those codes again. They're right down here towards the bottom someplace. Right up here is this section, and I'll just bring that up towards at the top of the window so I can see it easily. There we go. And then back into this folder here, and there's our first one, it's right there. It has explode one, and it begins with CD46E. You can see it right here at the beginning of that code, CD46E. Okay, let's go back here to this folder, and then scroll down here till we find the CD folder. It's gonna be down here just a little ways. There's the Bs, here's the Cs, there's our C4 and CD folder right here. Open that up, and then we're looking for that code all you need to look for is just the first five characters and you're fine. So that is CD46E. So let's see if we can find it here. That's CD40, CD46E. There we go. That's the one I want. Right drag it over into your other folder and choose copy. Don't move. Make sure you choose copy and it copies it over here. That's your sound file. We now need to rename this thing. And the name of course is right here at the beginning and that's explode one. I'll just right click, copy that, and then click into the name here, right click and paste, and there we go. Let me just do one more of those. I'll do the second one down here, and that's explode two. That's this thing right here. So this has A116E. You can see it right there. So we'll find that one. Let's go back here to our folders, go back to objects, and we need A11, so we'll find that, and that's A1 right here. Open this up. And then A11 is right down in here. And let's just bring it down a bit so I can see that. A116E, and here we go. A116E, that's the one you want. And then right drag it over here, copy. There it is. Go back up here to this file. Copy out the name right here. Right click, copy. Back over here again, click into the name. When it's selected, right click and paste. 
and there we go. We can double check these. Now the cone shape here is because I'm using the VLC media player. If you're using a different media player, you'll have a different icon, but it will work the same. I'll double click on this. Let's hear it. Let me try that one again. There we go. That was explode one. Let's try this one. Let's explode two. We'll play that again. There we go. So there it is. That's how you can find the original sounds for Minecraft. And I'll see you next time.